Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at this guy. So, I designed and 3D printed this for the Spark. Now, what is this, you ask? Well, it's a fishing hook. Yes, a fishing hook. A surf fishing hook. Or basically a delivery mechanism for just about anything that um, uh, you can kind of think of. And I'll show you how it works. So, basically what this does is this attaches to the bottom of the Spark pretty much like the other mounts that I've uh, come up and 3D printed to these uh, legs. And then so it just kind of uh, will pop on here a bit. Then what we do is we take some zip ties and we stick these zip ties through here. Now uh, again this clip is meant to be going forward. And then so we attach it with these zip strips. Cable ties, the zip strips, if you will, sort of like this. I like to get the uh, this piece going up, the thicker piece where it cinches going up. So uh, we now have that done. And so let me get this up here. As you take a pair of scissors, you take a wire cut. Well, actually, I've got uh, some clippers here. These are far better than scissors. So I'm going to go ahead and just nip off the extra there. Put that off to the side. And now I've got the battery off so you can see a little bit better, but you can kind of get the idea how that works. Now, what you're going to do is pretend this is your fishing line or whatever delivery line you have, where one line is going to go back to your pole and the other one line is going to carry your payload. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to loop this around here, sort of like this. See how that string set? Now, as the spark, and I'm going to hold it this way, moves forward, it's going to pull this. Now what happens when you do a yaw back around, I get that on camera now, so I flew out of camera range, sorry about that. So again, you launch a spark, and you do all this at your own risk by the way. You launch the spark, and I'm holding it sideways so you can see, and the spark flying forward is going to pull on this line because one side of this line is going to be your payload and the other side of your this line is going to be going back to your fishing pole or tethered in some aspect so it's going to be pulling like this now you should have a bit of altitude on the copter so you have an angle on it like this and then what you simply do is stop the copter yacht and as you see it releases the string so I'll show you that one more time now the pieces, you're going to, I've got maybe about a little bit more than a foot here, but you can probably want about a 10 inch loop. Now in full disclosure, I've got to mention up front on this, this isn't really totally my own design. I actually got the concept, um, not the design, but the concept from watching a video where a guy was surf fishing with his Phantom 3 where he made something like this out of a coat hanger that sat in the front of the Phantom and he would fly out and simply yaw the Phantom and it would come off and I thought why can't I do the same thing for the spark now I've built in a little bit of ingenuity maybe if you can say that so I've got it tapered here I've got it you know first off around it so it doesn't poke your eye out or something but it's also tapered so it comes off and I'd suggest maybe taking a little bit of sandpaper cleaning this up make sure this is smooth because one thing you don't want to do is the string to get caught the other piece is I've got a double lip here to kind of keep it from from riding back too far and wanting to get caught coming back. So there's actually two two triangles back there, if you could say that, um, that kind of like want to push this forward. Now it's tapered a little bit up because of the way that these feet are and uh, you know because it is sort of directional how it goes on here just like the other ones. And so again this, this will keep it in normal flight because uh, you can't see it as I'm holding it up this way. But um, you can see how it's tapered a little bit up, but see how easy that comes off. And the only thing you have to do is, again, when you yaw it, you know, here, I want to make sure I get it in the center this time. So it's flying forward, and I'm going to turn it so you can see it like this. Now we simply yaw the copter and see how that comes out. Now, I, I wouldn't suggest so much flying it forward. I'm going to have to experiment in the field. So this is a little bit of work in progress that this will you know pull off as you're flying it so again and you want to keep it so it's it's up and the string is angled down so you don't want it like this because obviously it's going to get in your props so you're going to want to be flying whoops i keep coming out of camera and as i keep thinking i'm on the field so you're going to be keep want to keep coming up this angle because you don't want it to come down here and get in the props so you and follow the props 
key, again, you want to keep it like this. So anyways, wanted to share that with you guys because I think this would be a great little surf fishing bird or use it for, you know, delivering something where you, you know, need to get a hook up there or maybe in recovering another drone or something like that where you need to drop something in. So I thought this is handy. Uh, also, like I say, hit me up in the comments below if you can think of anything else I could design to put on here. I, th I think one of the other things I'm going to do is design a revolving hook that, that latches up, or not really latches, but ratchets up, and then when it takes off, it'll come down and you can hook things with it maybe. I don't know. I'm just having fun kind of designing different things, but again, uh, pretty much this is at your own risk. I don't endorse this. This is just some of the craziness I'm experimenting with. What you do with it, you do with it. And, uh, hey, um, on the other side of the fence, the subscribe button is going to be coming up over there. Uh, let me know what you're thinking about for lunch. Chinese really sounds good today. So, anyways, cheers, and we'll see you in the next video.